Hello, this is Balmore Blue Addict, and welcome to my first Let's Play ever. And, like, it's my first, I had to make it special. I had to make play a game that I love. So here we are, playing Morrowind. And, basically, I'm going to try to keep the gameplay as vanilla as possible. I do have the Morrowind code patch installed, and I have a few other tweaks, which I will mention in the description of the video but without further ado let's get into this wonderful love affair of a game Taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. Damn. There you go. That's one you hell of a trip I had. Unless What's the your wise name? or other. My name is Kratos. I am the good knight. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Here comes someone. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Yes, sir. Maybe I'll finally get off this godforsaken boat. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Well, you're not gonna accompany me? Okay, I'm going. Yes. This is oh. where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Okay, census office it is. Ooh, it's a nice day. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. From where I come. From Hammerfell, my friend. That's where I hail from. And I am a male with this face. Yes, yeah, not face. And I'm like, I think I'll just go with a little dreadlock thing this dude has going on up here on the boat. Okay. Kratos from Hammerfell. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. confusing my jump in space. Ah, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. The lip seeking is frightening, actually, now that I look at it. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna throw out... Let me see if there's anyone that actually fits my description. Because night. Well, that's sort of good, but I don't want any magic, to be honest. So I'm just gonna do. Not the farm myself. I am a knight. Okay. 
combat, I'm strength, and I'm gonna do, which I think just for the sake of this, I'm gonna have to do something like, for speed, speed is probably the thing I really need to get. I'll put it in agility for right now. The main thing I want is I'm going to be good at long blade. Heavy armor. Lock. Armor. And... Let's see, Blunt, I think Blunt will have to be my company. Okay, do I do Medium, Axe Spear, Athletics. And let's see, what else would be good? A little bit of Alchemy. No. Hope you got mercantile. I believe the patch fixes mercantile. Nothing I'm going to regret later on. I have heavy, medium. have all the weapon types. I saw I want to be like a weapon master. Mercantile makes me a little, a little bit like a mercenary. No class description. I usually write that, but that's more for me. I'll just continue. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? What would that be? I'll have to go with a warrior. That fortify attack. It's the I think the only thing that gives you fortify attack in the game. And it's real necessary. Interesting. Now Not before I send but... these papers, make sure this information is correct. Nice. <laughs> Fifty-five health, one ninety, sixty strength, agility. 50. Yep, we think that'll have to do. Okay, nothing else I want. I know I'll be mad at myself for not picking something later on. Trillin' Rush, best power in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that looks all good. Kratos. Night Warrior. Let's do it. Show your okay. papers to the captain when you exit to get your release so fee. Cousius. I got it. Release identification. Take it. Okay. Continue through to the next building and talk to Salus Gravius. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm a good guy. I won't loot this place. Like it makes me. I'll just take the ring. Okay. Hello, Celes Gravius. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celus Gravius, but my background is not important. And I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Tell me about Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from the prison ship here, 
but your authorization comes directly from the Imperial, Imperial or Oriel Septim, the seventh himself. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. But before you go, I must... I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor. So pay close attention. Careful attention. Okay, what are my duties? This package came with news of your arrival. You are here. You are to take it to Casias Cosades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Casias Cosades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal of, to your name. Okay, give me money. I think that's... That's all maybe I need to ask about Kazi's Cassades. Kosavis. Okay, it's in Balmora. Balmora is north of Sadnin. The road passes past Peli, Pelagiad village. The Fort Pelagiad across is a river, a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth and turns west across the Ode River and into Balmora. The South Wall, Cor South Wall Corner Club is southeast Balmora. On the east side of the river, for more detailed directions, talk to Ellen, the scout at Ari's Trade House here in Sadine. But take my advice, you're new here. Take the Stilt Strider to Balmora. Fast, cheap, safe. Cross the bridge and head east can't miss it. So I crossed the bridge in Balmora, or, or here. Okay, well, I know that, fortunately, so. Goodbye, Celis Gravius. I will probably never see you again. Okay. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. As you insist. Are you the one that the boat dropped off? I ought to see a boat arrive at that time of day. I hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. Ring? I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before the weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring, family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Yeah, I found it. Here you go, my friend. You found it? Amazing, thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ari, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Okay, cool. I just made some friends with a trader, I think. <laughs> Not sure if it actually does anything. But I guess we can go talk to Ellen the Scout. And Ari at the same time. I don't really have anything to sell, so I'll I'll just go up and talk to Ellen. Hello, Ellen. Any so time, Ellen. Go ahead. You're not interrupting anything. I'm Ellen the Scout. You need directions? Yeah, I need I need to get directions to Balmora. Balmora is the District seat of House Hilalu. And the largest settlement on Vonderfell after Vivek City. Good roads lead north from here to Balmora. Passing through Fort Pele Pelejad and Pelejad Village from Balmora. From ba Balmora, roads lead north to Aldrin through the town of Caldera. Maybe I'd better write down directions to Balmora for you. It's a long walk and a little confusing. Oh, thank God. You're very nice, Ellen. Everyone's so mean in this game. Hello, my friend. You like to dance close to the fire, <coughs> don't you? I don't really know what that means. 
but what do you have to say? You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Well, usually friends get paid for this sort of thing. That's right. I see I had, see, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for <laughs> protection. Hmm. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little Fetcher Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks and I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth hiding place. Well, I guess I can f help you. I know the little fetch has got one somewhere in town. Just not sure where yet. I already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's sashing his gold if you can. I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Well, it sort of sounds like you're shaking him down. It doesn't sound that good. I guess I'll, I'll have to do it. I need the gold. It's just new to Morrowind at this point. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The vest badge point is uh, on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all Seda Neen. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I just gave him his ring, so it's okay. Okay. Well, like it's daytime, I guess I'll... I'll go explore a bit. Hi, Fargoth. Fargoth. You silly man. Let's see, what do I need? But I don't even have weapons. What's this about? I don't have anything. I have 87 gold. Okay. I will have to go and get some magic items. <laughs> Just magic. So I'll like maybe we can scout the area. Ooh. Look. Very pretty. Gold, gold, gold. Let us go. Get some things. Our first enemy, a mud crab. I, lo I love the look of vanilla Morrowind. It's just so nice. Oh, no, oh, no, falling off now. Okay. I believe I am. Pretty good with an axe. Yeah, there we go. Although the battle axe takes up half of the screen. My patience I'll search is limited. For things until it becomes nighttime. 
We're gonna make that far cough cough up his poor money. Just got to Morrowind and have to face some tough decision. Leaving the peasants without money or getting a little pocket cash for myself. Let's see. And the fog is pretty, pretty nice. Hello. Let's get him. Charge. Oh. <laughs> I don't really like mud crab meat. Let's run over here. Ooh. Quama Forge, or Quama Scuttle, whatever it's called. Quama. Oh, Quama Forager. Okay. There's a dead man. Shucks. Hmm, he has cash on him. Oh, yeah. Some tax records. Wonder. Say so needs since it's an excess office. Oh, are you paid? And the fire. Three trakes. <laughs> He's a tax collector. Charge a lot of money. I wish I could do that to my tax collector. Although you don't really see him. Just send me money. That looks like it's a mud crab. The water. Pixel shading does a great job. The water and Morrowind. Nothing over here. Ooh. Mud crab and the evil cliff racer. Okay. Just gonna dispose of corpse. Walk around, hopefully, get this cliff racer by surprise. Ooh. Here he is. What? Want me? There we go. Got ya. Oh, what happened there? Can't access him anymore. He's so ugly. Jesus. Thela's ancestral tomb. I'm gonna take a quick save and maybe take a little peek in there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there's a ghost. I should be able to take him. Oh, there's two ghosts. Take this! Take this! Done! I'll get you! Yeah! Did it. I don't want an ectoplasma. Yeah, there's some... Burn. Ooh, two ghosts. I just hold my axe up and wait for them to walk through the door. Target resisted magic. We didn't resist enchanted effect. There we go. Apparently. I do pick up things when I dispose of the corpse. 
pretty sure the code patch is supposed to deal with that, but scroll of divine intervention. Or hide. Oh. Fortunately, I cannot pick Vox. And that is very unfortunate. So, I'll have to come back here. Yeah. Yeah, I won't bother picking Vox. Just need to get myself a amulet. Because the warrior wouldn't be carrying around Vox picks and fumbling doing that shit. That's good, just take it easy. No. We'll stroll on a little bit more and then go sell some things at the trade house. Oh, there's another ancestral tomb. Maybe we'll go in there. Why not? Here, my crab. I got some accent for you. Oh, don't levitate. <laughs> I think you fell. Yeah, cheat. What if I jump and hit him? Oh, I almost fell too. Take it, me. I'll sell it. Why not? I'll pretend I'm hunting. Quick save. You have to save a lot in Marwin. Never know when it will crash. Take the scrolls. Oh, I can see you. Almost transparent ghost. Okay. Shrine of Saint Vela. I don't know who the Saint Vela is. I am from Hammerfell. The petty soul gem. I think I'd, I'd sell that. Some scrolls. You know the mage love the scrolls. The mage type people. Okay, and oh no. That's a bone walker. Die. There you go. Hope you didn't reduce my stats. No, I think that's a greater bone walker, actually. Oh my god. Four health. Labeled Lord Grinds. Ooh. Ooh. I'm afraid. If I save it and see how bad the trap is. Yeah, I survived it. There we go. Minter's Ring. Fortify Intelligence. Fortify willpower. Equip it. His chest. I think his ashes too. I'll probably summon him like a diadra. No? No diadra? Okay. And there's nothing in his chest even though it's locked. Yeah. I think I'll leave his ashes. Chest. I never did figure out if that was an actual quest. Although I think it is. I think it's for the temple quests. But anyway, so I'm halfway dead, dying. 
Nothing to heal me. Why did fortify health? I guess that, I guess that will help. I haven't played Marwin for over two years, so the controller is a little awkward for me. Hopefully I won't run into any mud crabs that will kill me with this little health. What probably have been better would be... Yeah, I'm gonna go back here and rest a bit heal myself. Okay. Rest. Oh, let's say at maximum four hours. Oh, what? Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. Well, I'm healed. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue exploring. Took a long nap out in the wilderness. And I'm ready to kill some mud crabs. Ooh, another one. Let us go. At arms, mud crab, at arms. Go. Don't levitate away from me. Pretty sure he took fall damage. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's fallen. Crazy mages, that's why you're full of magic. Doing silly things. Give me money. Shoes. Still a little bad. Yeah, I'll leave you your robe, my friend. I'm sorry. Take his journal, which is my journal, actually. Okay. I believe I may have found the correct for formula for the spell I am developing with it. I would be able to travel great distances without, without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out my new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leap greater distances covering hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, volunteering from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without the ter terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. Yeah, I think I'm, I've used the, his spell before, and it's more disorientating than any spot flying spell. The time is almost upon me. My research has, is finished, and all of my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. Top of who tower? Whose towers? Must come from pretty far away. Yeah. All he needed was a slow fall spell. Simple thing any mage would have thought of, probably. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Hmm. Not crabby. Oh, where did he go? Oh, he's hiding from me, you silly mud crab. 
I got you. I got you. My arms. I was hoping to dispose of this corpse, but it's not. I'm going to walk up here. Very pretty sky. There's the moons. There they are. The beautiful Morrowind moons. That brings back childhood memories right there. The image of those. Anyway. I've always wondered why they decided to put one moon in Oblivion and in Skyrim. Are these two, is the red moon unique to Morrowind? Do I never understand that from the lore? Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, jump in the swamp. Okay. Let's go. Got some gold. Got a little bit of experience there. Let us run to Sadneen. And let's go. Let's go check out Fargoth. Far but I believe he has already sailed. He's already walked what he was gonna walk. We'll see. I remember go how ahead, this works. Stranger. Go ahead, stranger. Go ahead. Well, was were you in my way? Didn't notice. Yeah. Go to the Sydney White Lighthouse. Oh, it's it's about unarmored. Grief. Take some grief too, why not? Yeah. Fargoth will only move if I go like at 12. Unfortunately. So, yeah. Hello, Kratos. I am Favere Vedrano. This is Sadnin, swamp fever capital of the world. I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. I can tell you where the services are. There aren't many. I can tell you the latest rumors. Tell me the latest rumors. I heard there's been some trouble up at Fort Frostmoth. Never heard of it. It's on an island called Solstheim, north of Ireland, Bell. Ah, uh, yes. The fated, fated rumors. Those Solstein rumors really murder the rumors section in Marwin. Because now everyone I'll ask will just tell me, Oh, have you heard of the fort? There's been sort of, some sort of weird activity up there. I'm going to see if I can mod that out somehow. I dislike that. That's not vanilla. That's unusual. What's unusual? Okay. 
So now I'm waiting to the train house. Yeah, you're waiting, whatever. We're gonna come back and do the Forga thing some other day because we've missed our chance. Let's trade up and go hit Balmora. That's it. She's gone too far. I'll see her disgraced before the council. Yes. <laughs> you having some psychotic dreams, sorry. Hello, welcome to Ari's Trade House. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little travel advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about more popular potions? Or most popular scrolls? No, I don't think I'm interested in any of that. I just want to sell you some things I found. Sell you my shoes. Sell you the dagger. Colovian fur helm. So you some ectoplasm and crab meat, some grief, some health potion, attractions, his journal, and I'll be honest, I, these are only good for some laughs. I will just sell them off because he's a warrior. Why would I keep it? Oh. Kelvin's crew. Okay. And the humanoid. Scroll Hellfire. I think that's the only one I'd use. What do I have? Silver Wear Cup. Oh, yeah. Soul Gem. Some gold. That's all I have. Wait. The Wraith's Wedding Dowry. Okay. Now what do I need? I could do the steel already. Yeah. Steel. Right. Steel right. Steel left. Grease. Aldrin. I don't like the tower shield. I remember it's cumbersome. Big. And. Silver. Iron Claymore. Long blade. I don't remember. Am I? I'm good with long blades. Pretty sure. It has great condition. I'll sell the axe. No. I can claim more. Iron helm. Save it for the steel. Nordic green male curious Imperial Chain Coif Okay, all I need is another pauldron and some boots. What type of pauldron do I have? Do they have here? No pauldrons, apparently. There's Let's take the tower shield and some boots. I just don't even want to waste my time on the non-heavy armor. See medium at least. Dreams. Okay, that's about all I want. Ooh. 
Harry, honesty. Okay. Now let's equip. Yeah, you're looking good. Looking good so far. Equip some pretty shoes. And is there anything that needs to be repaired of his armor? Let's repair this, yes. Okay. Yeah. Pretty sure this does more damage. 1 to 24. 1 to 32. This does a lot of damage, actually. I'm better with this one. Am I? Yeah. Long blade, heavy armor, block armor, blood. And this is axe. So I'm, I'm good with axe too. Got a medium, spear. Oh, maybe a spear. I love spears, I remember. Okay, now let's go. Yeah, we're. I'm just gonna head on out to. I'm waiting. Let's hear it. To some place, to Balmora. Yeah, that's right. Let's going. hear it. But hear what? Stop asking me. Silly people, man. Like silly people. Forgoth, I'll let him. I'll let him keep his cash for tonight. For now, I'm gonna go. Maybe the Stolt Strider. Head on over to Balmora. Or I could go to this cave behind here. Which sounds like the better idea. Make some money. I don't know. Kazis could say it's gonna be nice and help me out or just gonna be a douche. There is no escape! Yeah, you're right, there is no escape from your death! Got it. Slave key. Yeah, I know what it is. I don't claim more. I think that's a better option. No healing, so I forgot to save out there. I'm gonna auto save again. This way. Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, close the door. And wait for him to come. He's a magic caster. Die. There you go. I won't even bother mentioning your name. Because you're dead. That's the slave, so I'll continue walking down this way. See if there's anything or anyone else I need to kill. Oh, there's someone. This is the end of you, sweet. Oh, oh, oh. Don't kill that. <gasps> Die. Chicken throwing stars, I'll sell those. I'll sell the probes too. Why not? Soul trap, grief, money. 
Yes, yeah, so I know I can take all. Steel axe, I'm taking that. What's in there? Some coins. Bowl. Moon sugar, that's legal. I would not pick that up. Also, it's a big annoyance for me in general. Skooma, all oh, bad, bad, bad raiders. At least I assume they're raiders. Put on some expensive clothes. Some expensive pants here. Some common pants. I'll put on some of the common pants. These look nasty. Nothing else here. Yeah, I think swimming in heavy armor is a good idea. Let's go free the slaves. I think that's all I have left to do. Chitin Tower Shield. Nuts. Dishi's unhinging scroll. I'll use that. I won't use lockpicking. I don't feel my character would use lockpicking, but I'll use some scrolls. Preferably, I'll have to pay someone to make me an amulet. But that's later on when I have cash. Let us continue to free the slaves. Hello, slaves. Yes. Go, my friend. The prey approaches. I'm not the prey, I'm your liberator, fool. <laughs> like, I could even ask the Welcome, slaves friend. about that. Soul, soul, soul slime. Okay, whatever I want to say. This is basically the end of the line for this video. Thank you very much. And the next video will continue on towards Valmora, and we will see what fate has in store for us in this beautiful game. Thank you. Have a great one.